So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to program some sprite collisions. What you're going to see is I have a label up here. I have two image sprites and a ball brought in, and they're all on top of a canvas. Um, I'm going to come over to my blocks and just go onto this ball. And again, this is just to show you some different uh, variations. So when the ball is flung, um, I'm going to set the ball's uh, speed which is not something we haven't done before, but set the speed to, let's, you could do a random integer. So let's say from uh, five to 20. So again, it'd be just another variable. Uh, you'd also want to set the ball's heading. Uh, generally, you'd want to do something uh, to get the current heading of the finger being flung. But let's go when ball one collides. Let's go with over there. And let's grab a couple if statements. And you can see I have two different sprites up there. So if ball one collides with something, I'm going to duplicate there. Well, what can I collide with? Well, I have image sprite one. Oh, nope, not that. I have my image sprite one. I can duplicate that and do image sprite two. Now I can do a couple things. I'm going to set my ball heading, let's say, and let's grab uh, a math function here. And this is where I can really get into setting up my algorithms for gameplay. So I could get my current ball heading. So, and I could have it go 180 degrees, meaning subtract 180 from the heading so it would bounce off in the opposite direction that it's approaching with. I could also then, just to show you, I could set a label to keep a score. So I could set that text to uh, getting that additional label that we already have there and adding one to it. So label one text and we'll add one to it. Now, if I was truly doing this for a game, I would store this as a variable. And let's just duplicate this down, why not? And we'll say, let's set ball one's speed if it collides with this. Let's set the speed to zero so it actually stops. Uh, and we can set that label instead of Oh, I didn't want all that. Instead of adding one, we could do, we could subtract one to that label. So this just shows you how you just don't have to interact with the edge like we did in the previous app. In this one, you can interact with uh, 